Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of Minecraft. Today we are out here away from our base. Actually, we are between our base and spawn. More closely to the spawn, about uh, two thirds of the way there. And I have started working on something. I marked it out here in the river and maybe you can already uh, guess. Uh, I tried to uh, mark out where this river is uh, actually river biome because we need to produce more of those. So I will create a squid form here and I think we can uh, go with some of the uh, corners that are actually not river just to uh, uh, get a more uh, rectangular sh shape which uh, will uh, help in the in the build so maybe here one and here one and then probably close it off here. So I will need lots of uh, black dye for all the uh, uh, black glass that we will need for the uh, fog effect. And the uh, easiest way to come by is by farming those creatures over there. So it's a bit of a grind um, but I think um, I will manage it in uh, due time. Um, I will at least I will start with the uh, with the farm first and then maybe gradually uh, dry out the uh, uh, surrounding uh, water uh, in order to uh, get better spawn rates. So I will see you with a bit more progress. So I have dug out everything until down to level uh, 43 I think. Uh, squids can spawn up to uh, uh, 46 from sea level, so that will give us uh, some space below. And I know uh, visibility is not that great because I forgot to have any night vision potion and also water breathing potion. So what I need to do is basically make sure that all the blocks are water source blocks and then we can go on with the next phase of this project so uh, I will see you in a bit. I am here looking how the kelp grows and uh, occasionally uh, pulling it because if you look at the uh, top of the kelp you can the, uh, see the uh, age and they only can grow to a certain age and uh, that's why some of the uh, kelp here is just not that high so you trim off the, the top and uh, carefully and uh, then the plant has another possibility to grow so actually it's, it's easier that way and also uh, filling all the 
spots here and as you can see squids are spawning and drowned as well but actually while uh, waiting for all the kelp to grow I have cleared out all the rivers on this side and around on this side up to here which I think should be uh, far enough so all I need to do is uh, pull more kelp um, and then I can get on with uh, building the uh, mechanism to allow uh, only squid spawns and uh, not uh, those red salmon in here and build a collection system at the bottom and some more um, administrative stuff so see you when the kelp has finished growing and everything is source block okay so uh, all fence gates are in we have one final block of water source on the top here the one below that's flowing water fence gate uh, source block flowing and so on so all the way to the bottom <coughs> where we will dig out some blocks in this corner one more in that direction and then we head all the way up here it's a long way and we will do something you should never do dig straight down uh, basically I only need yep we made it all the way to the bottom and now we will fill in a bucket of water in here and we will grab us a bit of uh, kelp place it down all the way up to get nice water sources and break it okay apparently uh, that's where all the noise comes from you can stay here you can go down but you must decide. Uh, we will block this off with soul sand, making this a fast way up. And then let's actually fix this. Okay, so now. I will go to sleep and then I can uh, basically dig one more block up. Sorry, one more block out there, placing uh, some hoppers uh, leading uh, uh, up there and uh, then have a mechanism uh, spitting out all the uh, collected stuff from the hoppers in here and it will pop on here so uh, let's get to it so basically we will need something from this block um dispenser um that's not what I wanted. So down. Um. Um. K. 
Okay. Then we will have the. Let me quickly think. This goes in here, and then we will the have the uh, Harper thing on this level. So that means. Two more layers have to be dug out, and then once that's done, the water can be drained. I leave it in for now because uh, basically, it's while it's dark down here, uh, mobs would spawn, but uh, due to the water, no mobs. Uh, only uh, and because it's uh, one high source block Ooh, look at all the squids this is this is just great and just in case you're wondering hey hot sesty there is a way better more efficient farm yes I am aware I could use uh, nether portals to quickly shove off the uh, squids to the uh, other dimension um, thereby uh, increasing the uh, amount of uh, squids that can spawn but I think even with uh, this design which by the way I saw in a video from uh, pixel riffs uh, will get good enough rates for what I need. Uh, you have to remember this is a single player so only me requiring ink. Uh, it might not be uh, sufficient for a multiplayer server um, but you have always to go with uh, with what's suited for your needs and uh, this hopefully just does what it should. So I will be back after a bit more of work. Okay, so clearly this does not work because uh, this uh, a uh, comparator would power the redstone line uh, triggering the uh, dropper as long as there are items in here instead of items flowing through here. So what uh, we will do instead is let's create a hopper clock here real quick. Um, check something in on item and then have a quick pulse uh, and repeater dust. So basically, this takes. the this takes the uh, clock and then um, here can we have something like this? Uh, redstone box need not like this. Like this need a sticky piston on here with a redstone block on here. 
So basically when the uh, piston is extended that would uh, lock the hopper uh, breaking the signal uh, but actually I want it inverted so when I get a signal from here the block should be retracted um, let's see um, we need probably a torch for that um does this work yep so nothing is in here lock is extended we are not pulsing and if we put something in here the block would retract and pulse the signal which does not go down um, because of stuff but this should work yeah and now everything has moved over here, so let's give this another try. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, not what I expected. Um, can we do it this way and try it again Okay, this works, but some of the items seems to be stuck on these signs, so let's do this and probably also block it off there, so no no uh, thing is uh, glitch through and let's do another test yep that seems to work why are you why are you here why why can you tell me? You should not be. So, and the uh, last thing to do down here is uh, getting rid of the uh, water down here. So, let's do this real quick with uh, some sand barriers and uh, I will be back once this is uh, cleared out right so um, let's eat and then also let's light this whole thing up a bit yes i know the walls are not the uh, nicest uh, but oh i guess now that the uh, 
Squids cannot swim down here. Um, that will get rid of that problem. So let's uh, move uh, all that away. Yep. And head up, head up, head up, and yeah, all our items are here. Uh, let's take a quick nap and then we will uh, do a short um, session. Uh, actually, what I still need to do is um, uh, I need a storage system. Um, that will collect the uh, items that pop up here, but that should be uh, quite easy. So I will hook that up, do a short session, and then we will see how well this works. So it's been 20 minutes, a full Minecraft day, Minecraft day, Minecraft night. So let's have a look how many uh, ink sack we have here one and a half stack but that's quite good for uh, 20 minutes i will put uh, the ones i already had in here and i think these rates are way better on a single player server than you would have on a multiplayer server when you're uh, not alone and there is one more ink stack. So basically the technical part of this project is over. What remains is the uh, dressing up of the uh, upper part and then maybe also uh, uh, creating something uh, nicer than this uh, dirt hobble here. But this is it for now and I am full. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.